Lincoln Tunnel, through Weehawken, through Secaucus, across the Hackensack River, right. and you'll arrive as we have at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, go. New Jersey. Today we've got a Week 8 matchup on tap here between the New England Patriots and the New York Jets. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. This will be fielded inside the five. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. about leaning on him because as you noted last week they didn't have to still won the ball game they leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed but they really want him to be that guy and that's what they're doing early in this game second and five now jones he's gonna sling this deep downfield it's caught inside the 25 what the fuck and they've got this down to about the 12 yard line no part, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Harris running straight ahead. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two yards that time, a stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instinct. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that run play. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. just a great play. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. Jones now to throw on third down. And he's going to drop this down to Harris. It's fucking back. And a rally and stop him short of the first down at about the six. That one good for only six and it leaves him with a fourth down. Folks, kick is good, and the Patriots jump out to a 3 0 lead. Had just the one big play on the drive, but that was enough to put him in field goal range. Yeah, one big play of what they hope will be many others throughout the game. Every team has a different target for the number of plays like that, those explosives that we talk about. That allowed him to put points on the board on that drive. Let's see how the rest of the game goes. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and ten at their 25-yard line. They'll start on the ground. Hall, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Juwan Bentley was the one who found his way through and finished off that play. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Hall again on second down. And he'll get about three up past the 25. This defense for the Patriots, they put together a strong effort last week in the win over Chicago. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. Play action. Now Wilson. He finds Corey Davis. 
And he is going to have the Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you give up points on the opening drive, in this case a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also walking that fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. All right, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want them to feel like it's the end of the world, either. Nice that they were able to pick up the first down there, help them relax a little bit. And some room to work. There's a nice move. And all the way down to the nine. 55 rushing yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We are talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. And it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You're talking about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. They'll try to run it here with Hall. Avoids him at the five. Now the stiff arm created some space initially, but he's taken down not long after. This defense not budging. Back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. <laughs> Three nothing after one on EA Sports. What is this? Throw it out. Throw it out. The completion, but cannot push forward into the end zone. And the Patriots get the football back. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, sure you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in. I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. It's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I don't want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. That one good for 13 and a New England first down. They'll run again with Harris. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. It's a lineman low, creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Now Jones. On the out route, he's got Thornton. 
Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature in the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Throwing Jones. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 39. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. So in Jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Second quarter, two minutes remain, 3 nothing. our score. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need, need to get the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. Again, it's Harris on second down. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain, considering the blitz that they just had against them. Now Jones from the gun on third down, and this is going to be incomplete. Like what I see so far to this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Jones throwing on fourth down. And that is incomplete. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Jets are going to get the football back. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. Nine yards to pick up there. That's a first down. Play action with Wilson. His throw incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. <laughs> second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Wilson. 
On the move past the 40. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now it's Wilson. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there. And it's second down. Wilson will throw again. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. And the Patriots Bro, are going to get him back here just shy of the right. 20. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about it. he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise. And the Jets pressure too much is down. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And not much happening there as he'll get it back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get them off the field with a three and out. Got the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. Fair catch signaled for and taken, and that punt went nowhere. So possession goes over here on the punt. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. Zerline's kick is up and through. And that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime in a low-scoring affair. Just a pair of field goals. 3-3 is our score. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. Second half ready to roll. Two field goals, a combined output in half number one. Could be first touchdown wins. This one fielded at the five. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. I certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Here's Wilson. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Thank you, Jesus. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. He gets it underneath to Hall. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with Russell,
running backs about the ability to catch the ball. Their eyes light up when they talk about open field and have the one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. It, that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. First and 10, it's Hall. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Tackle made there by Jabril Peppers. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? This is Wilson on the jet sweep. He will push his way down to about the 14. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Wilson. And he's got a man, Corey Davis. And the Jets are going to go first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And that could be one of those turning point plays in a ball game. A field goal gets you the lead here, but they want to make a statement and get six points. And they're certainly going to get that opportunity as they get the conversion and set up first and goal. This pass out wide to Hall. Touchdown! Brees Hall is a loaded touchdown of the year. And the Jets have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now, they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Operating from the gun, Jones. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. Throwing on second and eight. Jones into a double team and it's intercepted. And a super return as he gets this all the way down inside the 25-yard line. So that changes things. You get the interception, and then to me, the good return tacked on. And really, it's down to him versus the quarterback on the return, and that's one you would think the defender would win. But a nice job there of seeing the play all the way to the end and making the tackle by the QB. Handoff, running left, here's Hall. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there, that play got swallowed up. Hall again on second down. 
Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll run with Hall. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you want to. Here, without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. This is Wilson on the jet sweep. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. Well, that's a wide out. When you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. On third and goal, Wilson forced out. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Mac Wilson. And the Pats are right back in this football game. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Harris starts to drive on the ground. He's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. So it looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. New England on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and seven. He'll buy some time right. He's got a man complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. So that play much needed there as they're all the way up near the 40 for a first and 10. On the give, this is Harris. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Throwing on second down, Jones. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets, 39. Back to throw, Jones. Setting up the screen, Harris. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free. And that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively. Or it could have gone for more. Throwing again on second down. Jones. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Well, that 
plays a statistic that's going to go on the defensive team stat sheet. Won't necessarily reflect in hours, right, the overall game sheet. But you and I know that they keep count on pressures, hits on quarterbacks, all those things, hoping to increase that throughout the game. And here we are in the fourth quarter, and they got a big one. Yeah, it's such a close game, a very big one. Back to throw again. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked up by D.J. Reed. And the Jets will take over here at their own 14-yard line. And this defense, Charles, coming up with another interception. They have really done an excellent job of locking up these receivers. Yeah, they're really on fire. They are actually doing what they talk about all the time, which is plastering to receivers when they're in their zones. They didn't give up a touchdown in the first half. Haven't done so here in this half either. Blanket of the field going all the way back to the opening drive, and they come up with a pick right there. All again on second down. 83 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Drop for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. Remember, they had the nice gain on the previous play, but they just gave a lot of it back right there on that sack. Yeah, they get the sack, get back some real estate. Felt like the type of play that could spark a defense and swing some momentum. Almost felt like a take that type of a play, didn't it, partner? Wilson's throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And he'll take this forward for about five as we have come upon the two-minute warning. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Now it's Wilson. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Wilson. And yeah, boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. Wilson wants to throw it. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. On second down, a run with Hall. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football, and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw out to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Walked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? the punter man as he boots this one away it'll go as just a 15 yard punt and control of the football switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest 
The Pats at the line, ready to go. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this one. And they hit just so that football. We see it all the time. The defense goes from losing the ball to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play, and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. So for the Jets, they improved to 5-3 and three as they approach the halfway point of this 17-game schedule. And they'll get to stay put for a few days as they'll host the Buffalo Bills next week. Meanwhile, for New England, they fall two games under 500 now at 3-5. and five. And they'll have a chance at redemption next week at home against the Indianapolis Colts.